don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so so let's friends today we are going to talk about this uh, the issue in the multi in the multi level dependent pick list of, of this custom lightning component wherein so basically the problem is when you select a level one and you have a dependent level two and then you have a dependent level three and what happens is so basically in the meanwhile you change your level one to something else and if you see a level three is not changed so we will try to fix this problem uh, by adding a like we will be, we'll be trying to um, change the code into the uh, into the lightning component using the uh, helper methods as well as the on change uh, on change action of the of the aura component so so as you see here in our pick list handler apex handler code for the level one what we are trying to do here is we are writing an aggregate result we are basically to writing an sql query and from the case type data we are grouping that at the level one and we are aggregating at the aggregate result and then uh, we are returning the, the the we are returning returning the value in this temporary list one so in the second method for the getting the uh, level 2 data we are again writing a sql query we are we are uh, doing a count of id from the and we are getting the level 2 for for the string which we passed in the level 1 so if you see here this str name here and uh, we are grouping again by the level 2 so and then uh, we are adding that uh, data into the another list variable and uh, with that the level 2 uh, data is being uh, covered now to get the level 3 we are again writing a similar query and we are getting the level 3 and the count from uh, but this time we are making we are passing the string as level 1 and the string 2 as level 2 and we are grouping uh, by the level 3 now we are uh, good to go now we are we have uh, we are basically returning the temporary list variable here and uh, let's see what's what we have so as you see here this is the pick list handler component code wherein we are calling the controller here and basically we are doing we are calling the init function here which we have defined here in the controller section of um, of, of our code of a lightning component and so here we are getting the code which written earlier for the uh, pick list handler using the get level one and we are checking if here there is a success if there is a success then this return value would be uh, this return this value would be returned in the result and using component dot set we are setting the value for the list for the level one list and we are using the nq action uh, to get the uh, level one so uh, this is a pretty straightforward code and then we are defining the variables here for the list level one list level two list level three and uh, we are using the input select here right now the in component and then uh, we are calling the get level one function here which is mentioned here we are defining we are finding that we are finding that we have defined the our id uh, in the handler section uh, which is this our id yeah, so we are we are we are referring to that we are finding that and we are getting the value and then we are getting the level 2 data for the action and setting it in the action now uh, with this set params we are simply setting the parameter uh, for we are simply setting the parameter uh, for the level 2 in the in the pick list value which is this value okay and if we if there is a success if there is success and the component is set and similarly for the but if you see here there so we have on action defined here for the level one and level two there is a change action here okay but for level three there is no change action defined and if you look at the problem which we faced, faced earlier was whenever the level one value was reset the level three value was not getting a reset so after this so this is the as is code right now which for which we are getting the issue now we will write some new code to get this problem fixed 
we are in the dependent pick list uh, level one where we will get reset and also similarly at the same time level three will also get reset so bear with me so bear with me so the magic happens here so in this function as uh, in the get level one we are we have changed this code for component dot set we are basically we are setting the this param this first level selected variable to with this pick list value and which is basically the v dot value of level one and also we are basically calling the get set selected value uh, in the helper function basically this is that fu function which we have written again here because we are calling this function again uh, we are invoking this function here so remember friends whenever you are whenever any code you are repeating so better to keep it in a helper section so that see with the line of code we are able to call this function and now uh, yeah, we have changed we have also added one more uh, get level 3 yes get level 3 function uh, we were in we are finding the or id dd level 3 and then we are getting the value and then we are simply setting the third level selected with this pick list value okay and the, and in the on confirm we have added three console logs just to see like we uh, first level one selected second level selected and third level selected or not so we will see in the console log later like if we are actually able to get these levels or not so we will see after the saving of these case steps whether we are able to see those records into the uh, into the explorer into the from the chrome explorer or not so so that's pretty much and yeah and then we have to call this get level three into the level three or lightning select component so on the on on the on change event so that's pretty much it friends so that was a change which we did and i was able to fix it uh, fix the level one setting when i select the level when i when i reselect the level one so the select uh, the level three were got uh, reset to none so um, so yeah let's see and what happens in the application level